first living, breathing creature of Allah. He is the first creature that's ever been given a soul without any parents. How is he brought into existence? You know, when babies are born, they make all these noises and they figure things out. What about the Malaika? What about Jibreel Islam? When he was brought into existence, what did he say, right? Sa'id ibn Musayyib radiallahu anhu narrates, as the angels are brought into existence, they say, la hawla wa la quwwata illa billah. There is no power or might except that of God. We have none. So as Jibreel was brought into existence, this first soul, he said, la hawla wa la quwwata illa billah. The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he says, I've been given permission to tell you about just one of those angels, one of the angels who bears the throne of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He said, the distance between his earlobe and his shoulder is a journey of 700 years. And the narration of Ibn Khuzayma, the Prophet ﷺ said, a bird could fly that journey in 700 years. So how do we even determine who's a bigger angel and who's a smaller angel? And what does this have to do with Jibreel ﷺ? And Imam al-Suyuti rahimahullah says, the greater the task the angel has been given, the greater the size of the angel. So that tells you right away that Jibreel ﷺ is even bigger than that. He's the biggest of the angels and the greatest in size because he has the greatest of tasks. The people of Lut alayhi salam, that entire city was destroyed by the tip of one of Jibreel's wings. They were lifted up and they were destroyed by the tip of one of his wings. So it shows you the strength of Jibreel alayhi salam. The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wasallam said that Jibreel alayhi salam resides directly under the throne of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. What does he look like when he's in his full form? The Prophet says, to Jibreel, I saw Jibreel, walahu sittu mi'ati janah, and he had 600 wings, not two or three or four, 600 wings. Not only that, the Prophet said, he filled up the entire horizon and he was sitting on a throne that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala provided for him. And the Prophet said, not only are those 600 wings spread out, he said, There are constant rubies and pearls falling from his wings. In a narration in Ahmad, the Prophet said, The color of his wings are khadra, are green, and the soles of his feet are green. There's not a single Prophet of Allah that you study, except that there's a mention of Jibreel. Seriously, just go through Qasas al Anbiya, the stories of the Prophets, you'll find a mention of Jibreel in some way, shape, or form. He's got to be there because he has been sent to 124,000 Prophets. In the hadith of in Muslim Imam Ahmad, there were 124,000 Anbiya. Amongst them, 315 were messengers, were Rusul. He has been sent to each and every single one of them to teach them, to raise them, to support them, to protect them. He was there. When Adam was expelled from paradise, did Allah communicate directly with Adam anymore? No. Now